Now, the first reason why you may not be getting a raise is because they just may not have the money. A lot of companies have been through a lot of stress and they're just making ends meet. So if you like your employer, I would encourage you to think about staying there because I can tell you right now, when these companies get on the other, other side of it, they're going to remember the employees that supported them. And it also means you can have a conversation with your boss about, do you have any idea when there might come a time where the company can be offering raises again, right? And being respectful of that. Why is asking for a raise so stressful and difficult? Well, truthfully, it's because they don't teach us it in school. And in particular, they don't help us understand what managers need to see in order for us to earn a raise and also the things that might make them not want to give us one. So I'm going to talk about those things first, and then I'm going to give you a framework for how you can go in and plan for a raise with your boss. The second reason why your boss might not want to give you a raise is the fact that you are not creating enough ROI. So ROI is return on investment. And that means that you are saving or making the company enough money to justify the cost of giving you that raise. People come to me all the time and say, I work 50, 60 hours a week, but they're not doing what's called the high payoff activities that would create that value that would justify that raise. So this is why it's really important to sit down with your manager and make sure that whatever time you're spending on the job is really focused on those high payoff activities that could eventually get you that raise. Third thing that could be holding you back from a raise, you did something in the past that your boss just can't get over. Maybe you made a mistake or you didn't perform at a certain level. The problem there is that they don't wanna give you that money and then only see you fail again. So the solution to this is to really sit down with your boss and make sure that you're meeting and exceeding expectations. And if there was anything in the past that you did, that you can overcome it and you can make sure that they're comfortable, that they know that it will never happen again. Fourth reason why, this one's a hard one to hear, they just don't like you. They don't like your personality. You know, we're not meant to get along with everybody. And I'm not going to suggest that you should change your personality or be, you know, insincere, but you do have to find a way to get along. So my tip here is to really step back and look at your boss and say, what's something about them that they do that you admire or respect? Maybe it's their leadership style or something about their knowledge level. When we can at least identify something in someone, we can tend to build a, a relationship that is least respectful, right? That we can be um, on good terms with one another. We don't have to love each other and want to spend all the time in the world with each other, but you really do need to get to a place where your boss feels like you like them and they like you. That's going to help you get the raise because honestly, as bad as it is and it's not right we often see them give raises and promotions to people that they get along with the fifth one is that they want you to leave I know again this is another one that's hard to hear but there are employers who aren't comfortable putting people on performance improvement plans or giving critical feedback and they don't want to deal with unemployment so they'd rather just see you leave on your own so they just make your life difficult and uncomfortable in the job until you decide to move on if that's the vibe that you're getting right now that I would encourage you to start looking for work now the last reason why they may not give you a raise is the flip side, which is they know you want to leave. That's right, you might think you were amazing at hiding it, but if the truth is you're frustrated and you don't wanna be there anymore, it's showing in some way, shape or form. Why would they give you more money in a promotion if they know you're gonna walk out the door? So they're holding it back, just waiting for the day when you actually resign. In which case, if that's the case, if you know you wanna move on, start looking for that new job. The point I'm trying to make here, folks, is that there are going to be reasons why you are not earning a raise. And the solution is for you to have a really constructive conversation with your boss so that you can get to the bottom of it. So here's what I suggest that you do. First, you're gonna start with a little work. You're gonna sit down and you're gonna type up a list of all the things that you were hired to do, and you're gonna confirm that you are meeting or exceeding the expectations for all of those tasks. Then I want you to make a second list of all the things that you've taken on in addition to since you've started in this job. What's the additional value that you're creating? And lastly, I want you to come up with a couple of things that you'd love to take on if you got a raise in promotion. Type this up, bring it to the meeting with your boss, and sit down and say, I love working here, I really wanna grow my career here, and I would like to earn more money. So I sat down and put together what I believe is how I'm contributing value to the company. And you wanna walk through this entire list. This is a chance for you to have a factual and objective conversation about your performance. And it's really important you do this, folks, because a lot of people take getting a raise or not getting a raise very personally. They're very emotional about it. This is business. You need to sit down and just talk through the situation. And the reason I say this is that when you have this conversation, be ready, you might hear something you weren't ready for, like, you know, I don't think that you're meeting expectations on these things, and I don't see these additional things as as valuable and enough to earn a raise. But you need to know that information. 
And once you learn that information, the two of you can have a healthy conversation about what it's going to take to get you on track to earning that raise and getting the money you want and deserve. All right, you can do this. It just takes some planning and some practice. But again, if you want that money, you've got to invest the time and energy into building the relationship and making sure that they know what you're worth. Go get them. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.